Her character on the hit series, The Chosen, is resonating with audiences around the world. Joining me now is the very talented Lada Silva. Hello, oh, Lada. Thank you, Lara. That's sweet. <laughs> oh, well, it's lovely to see you again. You do. Yes, we've had you on Huntley before. I know. We had our Zoom meeting. That's that was right. fun. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> I cried a lot. I'll probably cry now, too. Oh, that's okay. I'm a crier, too. We can cry together. Great. <laughs> you know, uh, for our viewers who don't know, you know, the role you're playing on The Chosen, tell us a little bit more about Eden. I play Eden, and mm -hmm. she is Simon Peter's wife. Mm -hmm. um, Eden is, she's a strong woman of faith, and mm -hmm. she is fierce about her family, and she's passionate about just protecting them and and you know she's a mother she's a sister she's a daughter it's not a mother sorry she's <laughs> she's a daughter and she's a sister um and a wife and so so many you know women i think can can relate to her in one or more ways and um yeah she uh she's she's been a gift <laughs> yeah she's been a gift and uh, how has how has it impacted you playing eden it has changed my life for sure um, because it's it's brought me it's it's been so challenging as an actor as well mm -hmm. and then um, it's been you know faith testing as well because I feel like how am I doing this you know and I know that my when I'm feeling like that I have it's my faith you know it's where I go to it's where I rely on God to just help me get through you know, through working through these scenes, through telling the story, through, you know, giving her justice. And um, there's been an immense amount of like weight, mm -hmm. you know, that, that I feel like Eden is carrying. And then in turn, I'm carrying that for season three. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. It's amazing, you know, and, and it really does come across um, the way you uh, you so tenderly and authentically approach the portrayal of Eden. It's incredible. Um, season three is very interesting. You know, mm -hmm. for The Chosen, women have been a central role from the beginning of the storytelling, which I love because often, especially in um, faith-based film or movies, women are taking a backseat, especially yeah. to Jesus and the, the male disciples. Right. So it's really neat to have women play a central role. And in season three, I know that's going to be built out more. Yes. And there's a big focus particularly on you and mm -hmm. your marriage to Simon and the dynamics of what it's like to be married. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes. So we're definitely going to dive into, um, I think, things that people will be able to really relate to, mm -hmm. um, things that may have happened to you know to them or to someone they know or you know i think it just it's it's it really dives into raw you know emotion and and um eden goes through these um these phases of you know she's has all this faith she's you know she's strong in it and then you know there's some some feelings of doubt or some feelings of disbelief and you know then uh, where she's needing Simon to be her rock a little bit, whereas in season one, like, she was the strong yeah. one, you know. So and he, I think we're going to get to see, like, you know, Simon doesn't know how to quite communicate that and doesn't know how to quite be there for her. And um, so I think a lot of people are going to be able to relate to, and see that mm. in our relationship. That's so cool. And, you know, you are somewhat of a newlywed, I yeah. think. Right? Yes. Have you, and I'm a 20-year married woman. Here. Oh, have you, yeah. <laughs> have you drawn a lot from your experience being newly married? Yes, yeah. I definitely do, especially with how how we communicate. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, my husband and I, we, we, really, we really make that a priority to um, come, you know, come to each other with, with, love and understanding and compassion and, and just listening. And, you know, sometimes we don't always know how to do that or what our partner needs at that time. Mm -hmm. Um, so I do bring, you know, experiences and from, from that into, mm -hmm. into storytelling yeah. for, for the audience. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. And I think it's part of what makes it, will make it so authentic as audiences are watching those scenes yeah. about married life, what those struggles are, what the realities are as we try to have a relationship with someone. Absolutely. Yeah. In those ways. Yes. It's um, always changing. It's always changing. Mm -hmm. And you know, Lada, you're so introspective uh, as an artist, but also as a person. And, uh, you know, I think about this whole time as you've been on The Chosen, uh, three seasons, you've watched, you've watched Jesus before your eyes, the stories coming to yeah. life. Um, what has impacted you most about the person of Jesus in this time? 
what's impacted me most about Jesus and who who he really is, um, the most impactful thing is that knowing that even at your lowest of low, right, when you feel like he's far away or you feel like I'm not getting much, I'm not feeling like I'm close to Jesus, um, I think for me personally, like, I know that it's me that's kind of mm. maybe pulled away. Mm -hmm. And um, people can relate to that as well because, you know, life is roller coasters of yeah. struggles and emotions. And, um, you know, we'll, there's constantly like battles going on. Mm -hmm. And so I think knowing and standing firm on like who. Jesus is and the love that he has for us um that's I think the most impactful mm -hmm. you know thing for me and I hope for the viewers as well you know yeah as I watch the series I notice as Jonathan Rumi portrays Jesus it's written in such a way and he's portraying it in such a way that Jesus is even more desperate for the person almost to love them than the person is to receive him. So as you're t saying, like the consistency of Jesus, he's always there. Yes, he's always, yeah, he's never changing. He's always the same. Yeah. It's us that's changing. Something mm -hmm. in us has has changed or in our hearts or in our spirits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, mm -hmm. he's constant. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and throughout your time on the series, what have you learned about yourself? Oh, man, this, this season, I'm still like processing. Yeah. I'm learning so much about who I am. Um, I'm growing uh, spiritually and just emotionally. As an actor, I'm growing and um, I'm finding myself. You know, I can sit here and just be honest that like I don't have it all together. No. <laughs> we, I don't think a lot of people do. Um, and that's a, it's a vulnerable place to be. And um, I'm struggling, you know, but then there's also moments yeah. of true joy and, and um, great, like, gratitude. Yeah. But um, this season, you know, has not, has not been easy, and it's really teaching me a lot about who I am and what I can handle. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. You know, it really makes me think about, you know, as we're walking with Jesus, how, you know, in the Bible, it's so clear, right? Like those who feel the weakest yes. are made strongest in him. Like it's through our weakness that he can work. Absolutely. And it's it's really yeah. compelling to me as I listen to you talk right now because your portrayal of Eden, your work on this series, it's so effective. It's reaching people. But it's through that emptying out that you're saying, you know, I'm weak. I yes. can't do this. But God, you can do this. Absolutely. Yeah. That's where I am right now. Yeah. yeah. And I'm trying to honor that. And I think that um, it's okay for people to to feel not okay yeah. and honoring where they are and knowing that, yes, you feel depleted and you feel low, um, but there's so much hope and there is there is the light that's coming and, and the mm -hmm. healing that's coming and mm -hmm. that, that life-changing experience or moment that you're going to need and it will pull you out. Yeah. yeah. Well, you are literally <laughs> living out the characters that you were all portraying really <laughs> because Jesus meets us where we're at. Absolutely. And he takes yeah. us to places we can't imagine to. Right. Uh, yeah. It takes time though. And that vulnerability is such a big part of it. Yes. Um, a lot of, I'm so thankful that we had time to chat today. <laughs> I'm so thankful for who you are. Oh, uh, your authenticity, it. because so many people can relate to who you are in person and through your character. Thank, Thank you so you much, Thank you so Lara. much, Lara. Thank you. <laughs> Good to see you again. Good to see you. <laughs> and cry with you again. <laughs> <I know. laughs> we both need tissues. I know.